The use of virtual training has grown over recent years, primarily due to its cost-saving role, but also due to the growing fidelity of the medium. Pioneering companies in the military training and simulation industry have been marketing a wide array of simulators, and all of them share the same claim, being able to recreate a high-fidelity visual training environment. But how do visual scenes of the real-world environment appear as a real-time image in the simulator's visual display system? The answer is to be found in image generation technology. Image generators are not new, as they made their first appearance about 80 years ago in the form of model boards and other analog solutions. But they have now evolved into more sophisticated systems that make it hard for humans to distinguish between what is real and what is computer generated. At last year's virtual ITSEC, US company Epic Games offered a first glimpse of a synthetic environment implementation program, Project Anywhere. Project Anywhere is created by a collaboration between Epic Games and some of the most avant-garde companies in the software developing industry, Cesium, Microsoft Azure, and NVIDIA. As suggested by the name, the purpose of the application is to take trainees anywhere in the world. This is possible as Cesium's full-scale globe gets 3D terrain data live-streamed into Unreal Engine tools as 3D tiles. 3D tiles are key elements to this project, and developers of this program state it allows them to reach levels of accuracy, interactivity and visual quality never seen before. In the military context, this feature will help advance training and simulation, as well as optimize augmented and virtual reality architecture and autonomous driving. Another effort to disrupt the market comes from Bohemia Interactive Simulation and its VBS Blue IG Modular Image Generator technology. An upgrade from the VBS 3, the system is a 3D Whole Earth Image Generator designed to support land, sea and virtual reality based training applications. Fitted with an adaptable engine, its mission functions include collision detection, height above terrain and laser range finding. Since its first release in June 2018, Shepard Defense Insight reports two new performance improvement upgrades. One of them, the VBS IG SDK, is a customizable version of its basic variant. Whereas the version 18.2 includes support for multiple graphic processor units, depending on the user's task. For those looking at solutions designed specifically for military fighters and fast jet training, a competitive cost-effective solution has been made available by CAE with its Medallion MRE series visual system. 
Apart from generating 4K and 3D images, it includes a back projection 360 degrees dome display system and laser projectors. The system claims to provide fast jet pilots with the ideal visual solution for a range of training tasks, including formation and low-level flying, air-to-air -air refueling and target identification. Another recent reveal was Meta VR's virtual reality scene generator, version 6.5. Released in January 2021, the new version 6.5 improves integration for third-party systems, including the latest Vario head-mounted display, VR and XR models. The Collins Aerospace Coalescence Mixed Reality System and HP's Reverb VR System. These clips, for example, show a low altitude attack training scenario using the observer station of Meta VR's deployable joint fires trainer operated by a JTAC wearing a Vario XR1 mixed reality headset. This fully immersive mixed reality training system features VRSG V6.5 and a high fidelity visual database of Kabul. The JTAC trainee identifies the insurgent target using a laser range finder to compute target location coordinates and then passes target information to the attacking aircraft, which then moves in to strike the target. Although data gathering processes and simulators have improved exponentially in the past few years, experts are confident that more progress will be made on the end-user hardware side.